제37회 내가 빌려줄게. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Be Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and welcome to the show. We'll help you make your Korean studies much easier and much more fun. And of course, as always, my good friend Steve is next to me. Help me, Steve. I'd be happy to help you. 내가 도와줄게요. Yes. I'm going to help you all out with Korean. Today's expression is talking about how you're going to tell someone that you're going to do something and uh, assist them. And we've got a couple of people here to assist us. 안녕하세요, Lisa 씨. 안녕하세요, Steven 씨. 여러분, 안녕하세요. 저는 미리암입니다. And I feel like my Korean is getting better day by day. Yeah, it sounds it. <laughs> day by day, yeah. She's, she's got the Australian day going there. Yes, and... Our other friend. Okay. <coughs> 안녕하세요. 저는 제이슨입니다. And uh, yeah, I hope I can help you guys as well, and you can help me. Yes. Let's work together. All right. Today's expression is I nega verb, and then to ke, which means I'll do something for you. So let's get started. Let's do it. 돈이 모자라. 내가 빌려줄게. Okay, today as always, we'll be learning a couple of very important expressions. The first of which is blank e, something is, 모자라, which means I don't have enough of something. Be reminded, it doesn't mean that you don't have it at all. It just means you don't have enough of it. Yes, and the confusing thing for us as native English speakers is we think that, of course, this is an object. You use the object marker with this because it seems like it should be you know, I don't, I don't have enough of something. You think it should be the object of the sentence, but it's not. You have to use the subject markers, e and ga. When do you use e? Of course, when there is a pachim, right? When there's a final consonant coming right before. And when you use ga, when there is not a pachim. So, in the sentence, it says, don e, right? There is a pachim, there's a final consonant, n. Nian, and there you must use e. So, Tony Mojala, Mojara. We've been having problems in the studio <laughs> right. because Koreans often pronounce this word as Mojala. <laughs> Normally, that's how we hear it, right? That's right. But that's not how you pronounce The original writing is Mojala. Mm -hmm. Right. And keeping this in mind, think of, a, of the noun that you know. Don't forget to add e or ka. And then Mojara and turn it into a sentence. Give me a couple of things that you don't have enough of. Tony mm Mojara. -hmm. That's right. <laughs> the biggest thing. Okay. Pabi uh, Mojara. Okay, I don't have enough food. Can you think of anything else? Isn't that, isn't that interesting that in Korean, food is rice. That's right. <laughs> isn't that interesting? We okay. don't have... We, that, that's very confusing for native English speakers. When Koreans talk about food, they have two words. One is unshik. That's when one word for food. But they also say, pop, pop, mobasel, can mean, did you eat anything, not necessarily just rice. Right. And a couple of other useful expressions would be like, um, I don't have enough time. Mm. Uh, yeah. So you can say, shigani, mojara. Or you don't have enough hands, not enough people. Sarani, mojara. Yeah. And uh, the other expression we have for today. Yes, the other expression for today is ikkeo, which is interesting because you're kind of, you're saying I'm going to do something with this, but you're also including asking for permission. So when you're kind of, you don't know you, you can do something, you kind of want to ask permission, you use this ending. Here today we said don pilio chukkeo, which you're kind of saying, hey, well, actually, we used the low form, didn't we? Don't be your get, right? Which is the low form mm -hmm. because Lisa and I are friends. We're gonna, <laughs> sure. we're gonna, we're gonna say that's uh, don't be your get. I'll you lose some money. Really? Thank you. <laughs> A lot, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Lisa needs money anyway. Lots uh, of it. Don't be your get, right? I'm going to lend you something. You can also say I'm going to do something. Halke, okay? I'll do it. Halke, nega halke, or I'm going to go. Nega halke. Okay, and just a reminder, you can change the noun around, and then you can say, like we said earlier, people, time, money, etc. Nega, blank, chulke, pilya chulke, I will loan you something. Right, and one more thing to keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, 
this is a, you know, you're talking about the future tense, something you're going to do, but like I said, you're asking permission, so of course you can only use yourself as the subject. You never want to use anything else as the subject in the sentence. I can't say, Lisa, don't pilotuke, <laughs> right? I can't do that because then well, I, I would can. be... can. <laughs> then I would be, right, the meaning changes, doesn't it? It means I will loan you That's money, right. of course, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you think of a couple of examples? Okay. Uh, 내가 책을 빌려줄게. Mm -hmm. 내가 돈이 빌려줄게. Mm -hmm. 돈을. 아, 돈을. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jason, how about you? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Got uh, one? Yeah. Okay, good. 내가 신발을 빌려줄게. <laughs> you don't loan me no, shoes? Thank you. <laughs> I don't think anyone no, wants to borrow your shoes. Okay. <laughs> okay, well... We reminded you can, this is how you'd actually use it. Uh, Stephen Shi, um, 제가 종이가 모자, 모자라요. 종이 모자, 아, 아. 종이 모자라면은 제가 빌려줄게. Thank 빌려주는 you. 건가? <laughs> so, Thank you. I'll loan you some paper. Sure, apparently. this is how we would use it. Do you want to try it out with each other? Okay. Uh, Jason, 음. 나 종이 모자라. Oh, 그럼 내가 종이를 비... Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's another thing that's really tough for us, the pronunciation of yes. Because, once again, right in between, when the consonant B uh, comes in the front of something, sometimes it is right in between a B and a P, For as far as native English speakers right. go. B and P, it's right in between there you're saying, it's difficult for me still. Right. Oh, the reason I'm gritting right now is because Jason is a little bit younger than Miriam, mm -hmm. and he insists on using the higher form of the Korean language, which is very good. He's very polite, but it's very awkward because Miriam is speaking to him like, hey, give me some paper. Makes me feel old, you know? Right. Well, let's practice that pronunciation, okay? <laughs> I'll, borrow, I'll let you borrow it or I'll loan it to you. Go ahead. 빌려줄게. 빌려줄게. Mm, very good. Very good. All right, let's put this into a sentence. Okay, um, Miriam, uh, 내가 돈이 많이 모자라. <laughs> 내가 빌려줄게. <laughs> 진짜? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> well, try it with Jason one last time. Do something else. Okay. Uh, Jason, mm. 내가 종이 모자라. 그럼 내가 종이를 빌려줄게. 고마워. Very good. And you remember to use the lower form. That's very good. All right. And I keep hearing, and I have a habit of saying it too. I want to say, I want to say, 모자라, 모자라, because it comes naturally off my, rolls off your tongue. Yeah. But keep in mind, you have to say, 모자라, 모자라. Okay. Let's go to the Wrap It Up Corner. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 시간이 모자라. 내가 도와줄게. 돈이 모자라. 내가 빌려줄게. 고마워. 너무 고마워. 나중에. Okay, we're back. And I've got a wonderful treat here on the table for our friends. But the problem is, I searched high and low, and there are only three sets of Chopsticks. Chopsticks. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, who shall I give it to? Mm -hmm. Mimi. Okay. Me. All right, of course our students get to. to. Chokarangi mojara. mojara. Mm -hmm. yes. Says, oh, they got to get to oh, really? Oh, I'm on a diet anyway. So Thank okay. you. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Let's eat. Okay. 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 Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to eat some kimbap. Thank you for being with us. We'll be with you again next time on Let's Be Korean. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>